I always talk about the practical side of programming in the building industry. My goal is to show you that automation in architecture is not about generating cool pictures or shapes that have no practical use. Now, as Conor McGregor would nicely put it, and I talk and I talk and I talk. I talk. I talk but guess fucking what? I back it up. That is what I preach and what I practice. So I talk the talk now. Let me walk you through the walk. I will show you an example of getting from an idea to a useful tool in a couple of steps and provide you with free software at the end. This will not be a programming tutorial that would take too much time to prepare and would span over too many videos. Now, if we reach a certain level of support on Patreon, I would gladly do it. That being said, how can you improve people's well-being using architecture and using programming? Well, first thing you need is an inspiration. I watched almost a year ago how Elon Musk presented the solar roof. An idea for modular solar panels in form of roof tiles that are very similar in shape and form to the conventional ones. And there it was. The idea. The efficiency of solar panels depends, among other things, on the angle at which the sun rays hit the surface. In order to have the maximum efficiency, you want the rays to be perpendicular to the surface. That is why you have solar trackers that follow the sun. At the same time, if you diminish the size of the panel to a roof tile, you open some possibilities for parametric cladding. Hmm. So if I start with a standard roof, I could test different plane orientations and designs to optimize for efficiency. Ok, that's a start. If I want to have a double curved surface, then I can optimize the entire shape for the electrical efficiency. Take the sun movement for entire day, an entire month, entire year, calculate the efficiency of each panel for the time period, make the average for all panels, have a value, there is something there. So, let's start and think about it on the way. So what do I want to do? I want the user to create a time period, a couple of days, months, years, and set an interval to generate all the sun positions. Then I want the user to be able to input some basic shape. If it is a flat shape, I will be able to optimize it for orientation. If it is curved, I can let the control points be the variables in search for the best solution. Ok, I also want the user to define the roof tile, the length, the width and depth, obviously, the pattern of cladding, the overlapping in xy direction, the row offset. Now for the efficiency. For each panel, for each sun position, I will check the angle and see how much it deviates from the perfect 90 degree orientation. I can say that the 90 degree disposition has a value of 1, and angles smaller than 0 or larger than 180 degrees in any direction have a value of 0. And all the angles in between have the value between 0 and 1. Then I can make an average for one roof tile for the entire period, and then I can calculate all the roof tiles and make an average for the entire roof. So, let's see how the programming works. Let's set up the dialog. How was it again? Set the sun, make it pretty, select the surface, have some preview options, give the user an option to change some orientation settings, the dimensions, the offsets of the panels, generate panels button, let's give them an option to export it, of course to calculate the efficiency, let's include a self-shadowing option, if a surface throws a shadow on itself, and read the minimum, maximum and average of roof tile efficiency. That all sounds logical. Ok, now let's close that up and let my minions do all the coding. And done. Let's test it. Ok, so far it works. I can see the areas where panels are efficient and where they are not. What are the problems? Self-shadowing takes way too long. Improve the algorithm. The values have a very small range. Hmm. Can this really help me evaluate surfaces? I have to test it more. Or even better. You can test it. My goal here was to show you how to get inspired and do something very quickly that may or may not be cool. And I'm going to pause here. You will be able to download the plugin for Rhino using the links below and you will also find a small tutorial on how to actually use the plugin. You can test it and have fun with it. And I have to admit that at this point it is not something groundbreaking. But that is not the point. It has potential. It's a quick transformation of a simple idea to a working tool. Now the real fun starts in the next step. The part where our brains are completely impotent. The part where we have an infinite number of solutions and we have to choose the most efficient one. The optimization. How can I let the computer test thousands or millions of solutions and give me an optimal one? What is the shape and the orientation that will give me the highest electrical efficiency, if that was my only criterion? Well, I will see you in the part 2 of this video for that. Stay free and get to work.